Welcome to another session on arrays. Today we're going to be looking at searching where the user is going to input a number and we're going to search the position of the number in the array. Last, last video we looked at populate and display. We're now going on to search. So we're going to double click on search. Just to recap, my name of my array is ARR and the array has 10 elements, low index 1 to 10. Last week we've done button populate and button display. We now move on to search. I've declared variables for you which I will explain as we're going through. So the first thing I want to do is allow the user to input a number and I'm going to start at an S search item which is declared of type string. Very quickly the code would be S search item and we're going to use an input box that's the name of the box. The second one is to give a user prompt message and the third one we will leave as blank. So we're now going to run a loop and the loop is going to run from 1 to 10. So I'm using my four control space. Sorry, four and I'm using I since I has been declared for us. So we're going to start from 1 and we're going to go up to 10 since there are 10 elements in our array. So we're saying for I assign 1 to 10 do. Now I need to use the if statement because I need to check whether the contents in the array is, is equal to the search item. So we're going to say if ARR of I is equal to s search item notice it is string therefore i to do a conversion to int then if it's equal to then we want to do a display and we have a memo so it's very simple that i'm going to use memo one dot lines dot add and we got a message the item position and we displaying i which is your loop variable and once again it is an integer, I need to convert it to string. So what's, what is happening here is that the loop is running from 1 to 10. So we're checking each element in the array, if ARR of I, at position 1, at position 2, up, up to position 2, is it equal to the search item which the user has entered? If it is equal to, then we would display the position. So let's run this and see what it does for us. All right, that's good news since we have no errors. So if we populate and if we display, then we're going to search and I'm going to enter a search item to be five zero. Five zero, okay. And it says it's an item position two. Okay, I'm going to also remind you that when you run this program, and you click on search, this program will only work for what is the ideal case for the element to be unique. So if there are more or duplicates in this, it should give, give us the different locations of the element in the array. And you can test this a little later. Okay, let's not worry about that. I didn't enter a value in the in. Okay, I'm going to add to this program so that you'll be able to check check the case where what if an element is not in the array. So if the if the user enters a number that is not in the array, we want a message to be displayed that no such item in the array. So I'm going to declare a boolean variable, and my boolean variable I'm going to call found, which is of type boolean. And before I start the search, I'm going to say found is assigned false since I haven't found it as yet. And in my if statement, I'm going to bring in a begin since I have compound statements coming in. And when I find it, I'm outputting the position, but I'm also going to change the Boolean value of found to be assigned true, which means I found it. So I just want to get rid of the extra code, which is for the next. So what we are saying in this case, move that to the next line, is that 
found is assigned false and when we find it found is assigned true then I'm going to go after my loop runs we have one of two cases for the found if found is equal to true sorry I should say false if found is equal to false then we want a message that there is no such item so I'm going to say memo dot memo one dot lines dot add and the message we're going to say is no such item and that will help us to deal with the case when there is no such item in the array so very quickly populate display doing a search and we're going to enter a number called 100 which is not an array and you'll notice it says no such item it should leave a space between no such item and once again if you run this and we go once again into search and type in a number called four and you'll notice it says you're in position eight very quickly I'm going to go back and decrease the value of the range random 10 plus 1 now I want you to watch what is going to happen when I run that populate display search let's suppose I'm looking for the number 4 which appears more than once you notice it give you the exact locations of what we're looking for so thank you